Hi Church and welcome back to our final day of the week where we are looking at living wildly authentic. Over the last few weeks we've been looking at the theme of this audacious life and exploring what it means to live an audacious life and finding out about more about who we follow. So we've looked at fiercely devoted, fiercely determined and seriously fun. And then this week we focused on what it is to be wildly authentic. We've looked at that about what it is to be in private, public and in times of rejection. That we fully resemble Jesus and live a life that follows him. That we don't trade in our character, but that we learn to praise and know where our identity is found. The path you walk is not easy, but it is brilliant. And as we walk it hand in hand with Jesus, and as you learn to live a life that follows him, know that you are empowered to do so by the Holy Spirit. Know that you can do this, that you can live an audacious life, just like Jesus did. Being devoted, determined, fun and authentic. He lived the ultimate audacious life and as a church, like we've said before, we are not looking at building a culture or lifestyle around an organisation, but we are building our lives and a culture around a kingdom and a king and that is Jesus. So let's one more time just focus on this verse from um, Romans. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing and perfect will. God, we just declare that we really take these words, your word to heart, Lord, that we know, God, that even though there's pressures in the world around us, God, there's times when we feel rejected and um, and there's times, God, where we might start to be pulled in other directions. Lord, let us just remember that we are empowered to do this life well by your Holy Spirit, that we do not have to conform to the things of this world, but we can allow ourselves to be transformed by you daily, for you to daily renew our minds, Lord Jesus, and for our actions to follow that and for us to know that we're never alone. We've got an amazing church full of people, community full of believers that are there to encourage us, to love on us and to do life with us. And most importantly, God, we have you. We have you that we're doing this life with and your spirit that lives inside of us. Thank you, Jesus. May we all have blessed days in your name. Amen. See you, church. It's been a pleasure to be with you this week. And I do hope that you have an amazingly blessed day, blessed weekend and just come ready to give all your praise in church on Sunday. See you there. Bye.